Okay guys, now we have a special surprise. Joining us on our one day adventure here in Macau yeah. to show us around is Edmund, yes. Do you recognize him without the yeah. uniform? <laughs> He's a, one of the staff members here at Rio Hotel in Macau. Yes, and he's been kind enough to show us around today. Yes. What? This is awesome. I can't wait to discover your city, Edmund. How <laughs> It's a good thing Edmund can speak Chinese. Seriously. Oh, you speak Mandarin and Cantonese? Yes. Wow. A little only. Awesome. And thank you for taking this day off to bring us around. That means a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, yeah, we have to wear seat belts. RJ, we're not in the Philippines. <laughs> Sorry. Not used to this. In the Philippines, we don't wear seatbelts. Um, guys, I. Okay. Philippine style riding it is. Huh? Edmund, what's this area called? Sinado Square. Sinado Square. Yeah. It's the famous one. I think it's their huh. version of Times Square. Their ver Macau version of Times Square? Interesting. Now we hate to make comparisons like that, but I guess that's the peg. Like, the best way to describe this area. For all you Filipinos watching, here in Macau, they have their own Jollibee. <laughs> it's a very popular um, fast food chain in the Philippines. Wow, Macau seems to be really big on jewelry. Speaking of which, Mabuhay Squad, I've had my both my ears pierced my whole life and this hole closed. I need to get my ear re-pierced. Oh wow, what a place. Check out the railing work, the rock work. Cobblestone, decor, look at all this Christmas stuff still up. Amazing. It's a market over there. Okay, I blink and I lost everybody. I'm just gonna stay right here. Oh, there you guys are. <laughs> I thought you guys were gone. Yes. Hi, you're my oh. Hi there. Do you mind opening my vlog? Yeah. Hi guys, we met a friend here. What's your name? Jethro. Jethro, are you from Macau? No, I'm from oh. the Philippines. Okay, and you're vacationing. Yeah. Alright, and this is your family. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. You got a big family here. All right, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Happy New Year. See ya. Oh, wow, look at this arch. Amazing. At night, apparently, this looks really nice. Those are all small lights. Watch. Let's see RJ's face when he discovers this apple. <laughs> He's so predictable. <laughs> Yes, I'll take your Instagram photo. So funny. Ready? Hi. Ready? Wait, uh, hold on. One, two, three. All right. Okay. I took one or two. <laughs> OMG, guys, he's making me do it again because he didn't like his hair. So he put on his toque. Okay. Ready? Um, great, and one, two, three, four, five, okay. OMG guys, these food stalls are making me so hungry. Look, by the way, Macau is famous for their egg tarts. Like basically like custards, we're gonna try some later. But look, they also have like chicken in a bun. Hello. Okay, we're gonna get some egg tarts now, apparently. Oh. Yes. Wow. Mm. How is it, RJ? Good. Mm, smells good. It looks like a quiche. Mm. It's like mildly sweet, kind of like a quiche, it's custard inside. Mm. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Against my diet. <laughs> Goodbye, Kiro. 
Okay, they're offering free taste of the meat. Very good, very good. Masala pao, masala pao. She says delicious. Yeah. I don't know. Is it meat? What meat is this? What is it? OMG. What is it? Just like flattened processed pork or something. But RJ, look behind you, cherries. I ain't have cherries in a long time. They don't have these in Philippines. Oh yeah. May I try one? Oh. What is that? Candy? Smell. It's good. Oh, smelling. Oh, scented rocks. Okay. No, but I'm looking at those cherries. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's like be it's jerky. This one's hot and spicy beef jerky, and they offer free taste. Wow. You could just come here and like choose and pick, move and like pick, and then become full. Just bring your own cup of rice. Seriously. Mmm. Quite good. Wow. Edmund, what is this? Uh, ruin St. Paul. Oh, St. Paul ruins? Wow, look at it. That's awesome. So, Macau apparently was recently a colony of Portugal. So, there's a big Portuguese influence here in um, Macau. Very interesting. A Portuguese settlement? Apparently, it was burned. In the 16th century, right, RJ? Yeah, I think it's late uh, 15th century. Oh, 15th century. Wow. Uh, okay, so this actually was a church. And this is what's left after everything burned. Just the front and these steps. Oh, wow. This looks like you. <laughs> okay, seriously, I haven't been this cramped since the subway in Philippines. Oh, oh wow, guys, look at this incense, I guess, station. It looks like bats have a significance in Macau, um, like spirituality somehow. All right, guys, and speaking of Portuguese, we're going to a Portuguese restaurant. All right. Macanese style. This is gonna be interesting guys. It's gonna be a mix of like Chinese and Portuguese food. <gasps> Imagine? Oh. oh my gosh, we're gonna order lots. Even Edmund says this is his first time at a Portuguese restaurant. Where do you usually eat here? Uh, Filipino food? Yes, Filipino food. <laughs> I'm sure, you miss Philippines, huh? Yeah. <laughs> RJ? Are you excited about this Portuguese yeah. Macanese? Be Portuguese. Yeah. I know very little about uh, Portuguese know, food. I just know yeah. I've had Portuguese chicken, delicious. And I've been to a Portuguese wedding, they have great seafood. But oh my! Look at their menu. OMG, guys, gold crispy pigeon. <gasps> Like pigeon with the head? I've never seen that. So this Macanese menu is really interesting. So they'll have things like veal, you know, and like mutton and steak, right? And then they'll have Asian style foods like this. Like beef and like, see, and, and bitter melon. And this, look, this is Portuguese sardines. So like it really is a mix of Portuguese and like Asian cuisine. Isn't that interesting? See, like, there's, there's seafood. Mm. Wow. And guys, I ordered pigeon. It's time for me to try what the peregrine falcons eat. Oh, okay, so up until 1999, it was a Portuguese territory. Interesting. Wow. Mabuhay squad, look at what just arrived. Interesting, to say the least. A pigeon, like urban wildlife. What an opportunity, I can't wait to try this. RJ and Edmund, would you like a piece? No. A pigeon wing or something? Oh my. I can sing Skyland Pigeon, but I cannot eat <laughs> pigeon. Okay, you guys, for those of you who are saying ew, and you eat chicken, pot calling the kettle black, if you ask me. All right, let's try this. We love all birds, right? Sometimes in our stomach. Okay, let's try. Dipping this in the sauce. Oh my, is that, is that honey? Here we go. 
pigeon. This is my first time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. It tastes like duck. Mmm. It tastes like duck. A little gamey. Mm -mm -mm. The way they cooked it here, really good. It's a crispy skin. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. -mm. Very good. Yeah. The meat is very duckish. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's very flavorful in the meat around the the legs. Oh wow. Arjay, okay, you want to try? No way. So here's the head. Oh my god. <laughs> what? RJ? What? Let's try the head. Oh, the brain! <laughs> Look, there's the brain. There's not very much in the brain there. <laughs> there's a new meaning to bird brain. This is just like legs, chicken legs. Pigeon drumstick. Oh my! Let's try the chicken breast. This breast. Part. There's a wing. Oh my! Mm. You have to use your hands. I can't see myself cutting this with a knife and fork. Mmm. Mmm. Very flavorful. I love the way the skin is so crispy. Mmm. Mm. It tastes really good dipped in the honey. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pigeon is really good. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. We got our lamb. Lamb chops. Lamb chops play along. <laughs> What's that show as a kid? There's a gravy that you dip it in. Mm. Oh yeah, this is very Portuguese style prepared. I remember the Portuguese wedding <laughs> having something like this. This is some good lamb, guys. Mm. Mm. Cow food is very good. Just delicious. Mm. So good. This lamb. It's delicious. I'm gonna be sad when it's done. Mm. Do you guys eat lamb? Lamb is not a very Filipino dish. Mm, actually, I take that back. Goat. Yeah. Right? Goat caldereta. Oh, and do you guys look at what came? Chicken curry. and curry and Prawn. curry prawns. <gasps> oh my gosh, I gotta catch up. Okay, let's try some clams. Wow, guys, RJ gives good reviews on these clams. Okay, holy oh, so much. Let's try. Oh, it's covered in lemon and chopped garlic. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. Mmm. It's so so good. Mm, so good. Okay, guys, moving on to the next species of bird mm, in the pheasant family. Ordinary chicken, but like Portuguese curry, Macau style, I guess. Mm. 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 Very good. It almost tastes different from, say, like Thailand curry chicken or like Indian curry chicken, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Mm. Good, right? Yeah. Mm. So yummy. Delicious. So good. Mm. Flavor just explodes. Yum, yum, yum. We got vegetables. Yes, of course we need lots of these for health. What do they call this? Water spinach? Chinese spinach? So good, guys. Never forget your vegetables. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to try these prawns. Mm. Mm. Wow. The flavor, the curry prawn. Mm. Again, there's something different about the curry here. Right? It's different. It's not spicy somehow. It's like more mild curry. Let's peel this prawn. Oh my gosh, it's flesh everywhere. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious food, but seriously. Mm. 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 Oh, and you guys, look what just came. Beef and peppers. <gasps> mm. Feast your eyes on that deliciousness. <gasps> go ahead, go eat it with your eyes. Don't worry. Let me taste it for you. <laughs> so there's green bell peppers here, and red peppers, and onions. Mm. And beef. I want to try to have it with everything. That's what I thought. Mm, so good. It's like oyster sauce with the bell peppers. Mm, and the onions. So well together. Yeah. Delicious. Wow. So good. Guys, I was gonna have my drink of water, and this water that they serve is hot. It's like warm. It's like tea, but it's just water. <gasps> Interesting. Uh, I mean, in North America and even in the Philippines, you just assume that they're gonna serve cold water, but no. Here they serve hot water, which is nice too, because it's cold outside. Mm. Wait a sec, guys. I just realized. Is this for washing the hands? What? <laughs> Is this for washing hands? I think, RJ, didn't you watch Crazy Rich Asians? That's why there's a lemon in it. It's for washing your fingers. But I drank it. <gasps> it's drinking water, okay. It's for drinking, guys. Woo! That was close. RJ's taking pictures with the apple. Hi, we have friends here. What are your names? Prima. Terry. Oh, from Macau and yeah. Terry. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, hi guys. Hello. Hi. Wow, you got a big group here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Edna, come on. Okay, photo. taking photos, guys. <laughs> yes, let's do this. <laughs> yes, thank you. One, two, three. Yep. All right guys, we're stopping for some coffee. I wanna check up on the Gaia, my bird, my baby, using the app. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, 